Oh no! Don't tell me! Do I still <clears throat> smell like the ocean? The ocean doesn't smell that bad. Just a tad salty. Heavens below! I'm so sorry, darling. I'll be right back. Heavens below. <laughs> no, peek, come on, I love you. What happens if I peek this time? <laughs> Looks like I still die if I see her nude. <laughs> I go crazy. Still worth. <laughs> Still worth <laughs> ah, it's still worth it. All right, guys. So we're going to continue off at the last like location where we uh branched off in the story for Sucker for Love. And uh we chose the route that led us to our love, the king in white, where we married the yellow king. But this time around, I want to see what happens if we choose to stay with Lynetta. So let's do this. So look at myself. I do have that kiss on my forehead. Was I able to remove that now that I think about it? I don't remember. Oh, I was. So I could have. Oh, interesting. I could remove that. So, uh. Metamorphosis, performing this ritual after Esther's masquerade will have consequences. Should I do the masquerade first and just, just see what happens? Let's let's do the masquerade real quick. I just want to see. Apply masquerade host. Masquerade mask. Uh, robes. And knife. Mask, robes, and knife. So I need this. I need this. I'm gonna take the, the route that says it's dangerous. All right, pretty loud. Whole ensemble is out of, if Lena is showering here, I better meet with Esther and other. You clean up well. <clears throat> I do clean up well, don't I? It's a pretty snug fit. The mask almost feels alive. Like it's molding to fit my face perfectly. Quite the opposite, dearest. Your face. <clears throat> yeah, my face is mo molding to the mask, which is terrible. Uh, from this point, this surely. Yes, yes, let's continue to my next decision. I already know what happens. Bye. <laughs> I just want to see what happens now. Uh, total darkness. Wear a ceremonial robe. Wear a mask or headpiece to distort your features. Oh, I can wear that on top? Interesting. I gotta see how that looks in the mirror. Have ceremonial knife on person. I have. Always remember the second page to complete the chant. Okay, I will do this in one moment. I just want to look at my appearance. Oh, I can't wear it. <coughs> we'll, oh, we'll see what happens. Uh, turn these off. That's off. That's off. Remove that. That's total darkness. All right. Uh, we're just going to do it. It will have consequences. What consequences? Let's find out. Need necklace. Oh, and ritual necklace. I read that wrong. Stop it. What's the consequence? Uh oh, I can't get the ritual mask to stay on over my masquerade Morning. one. Is everything all right? Oh my God. She's finished with her shower. Uh, yeah, I'm just working on my pronunciation. Oh my God, it's upside down. She's right in front of me. Maybe if I bury my face in this book, she won't notice the mask is fused to my face. Oh, are you stuck on a word? I can help you sound it out. Let me see the page. Uh, no, 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 oh. No, no, I got it. I'm a big boy. Really, he can't be harder to figure out than English, haha. <laughs> it would probably be easier to read <coughs> if the book wasn't upside down, darling. Oh, that, that's right, yeah. Oh, that, that explains why I couldn't read it, haha. <laughs> okay, I think I've got it now. Darling, why are you holding it so close to your face? The font shouldn't be that small. 
Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, my eyesight has been uh, going for a while now. I got to pick up some prescription reading glasses, but I keep putting it off. <laughs> I didn't know you need glasses. <coughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I wear glasses all the time. I uh, usually wear contacts. But you aren't wearing them now? No, I lost them. They fell out. Uh, I guess not. I must have dropped them on the ground somewhere in the last reality. <laughs> Darling. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah? Put the book down. Oh, she's forcing me. Uh, mm. Now. Oh, my God. That's it. I'm screwed. If she sees the, this masquerade mask on my face, she'll know I've been meeting with Esther. Think, think, think. Oh, hey, ow! Quick, the bathroom. Darling, open the door. Oh, my God. I'm getting her pissed. Will that ho door hold? No telling if this mask is still on my face when she gets in. <clears throat> so, I have no other option. I dig my fingers under the edge of the mask. Uh, uh, uh. It feels like I'm pulling my very fingernails off for mere millimeters of leverage. <clears throat> oh my god. The mask feels fused, feels fused to my skin. I'm taking off large chunks of flesh with every pull. Oh, that sounds disgusting. This pain, it's unreal. What's going on in there? Oh my god. It's do or die. I take a deep breath and pull the mask forward until my skin is taut and there's no more give. Then I... I die? I gotta be dead now. Why did you lock me out, darling? Heavens below, what happened to you? Oh my god. Wait, what was that? A broken heart smooch. I, I, I can't even formulate thoughts right now. Whatever happens here happens. Is that why you were hiding your face? No, baby. Oh my God! I don't care about any of that? I'm not oh. so shallow that I'd fuss over what you look like. Oh my God! My face looks terrible. She's letting the blood run on her and her dress. I'm here because I <coughs> like you, no matter what happens to you. So don't be so self-conscious around me, okay? All right, all right. This is painful. L Lynetta. Shh. Just let me hold you. Oh my gosh. She's too sweet. This feeling right now almost makes tearing off, tearing off my face worth it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do it for the love. <laughs> almost. Almost. Just stay right there <clears throat> until you're mentally prepared to continue. Okay. Okay. Oh, I, yeah. I end up blacking out from the pain waking up sometime later in my bed. The golden mask was nowhere to be found. Oh my god. Can I talk to her? Apparently I can't. So, uh, what's next? Eldritch Embrace. Very spooky. Breakup. The breakup ritual is gone. Uh, don't worry about these steps. All you... I didn't get to finish reading it, Lynetta. Come on. Yes, darling. I wanted to finish. I'm just checking, but <laughs> you haven't tampered with my book, right? Eh? What do you mean? <laughs> this Eldris and Breach spell, it looks a bit different from the other rituals. <laughs> How strange. <laughs> yeah, it's very strange. Oh, what's the use? You caught me. It's not a real ritual. What is it? I didn't finish reading it. I just... I see how hard you're pushing yourself to make it through these spells for my sake. Oh. I thought maybe you could use a break from the real rituals. So I could spoil you a little. Oh, that's adorable! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty sweet of you, but there's no time for breaks. Not even a quick one? I'm... Yeah, aren't I going insane with the very presence of her? So I think I always have to make it... The ritual's quick, right? I can't lose sight of my singular goal, smooching ya. Well, all right. <laughs> I'll leave you to it, then. All right. You're leaving? There's something I need to check on. It's probably nothing, but... Well, what? You haven't seen anything strange lately, have you? I have, but I'm not telling you. <laughs> I've seen plenty of strange things lately. O outer gods, hands with mouths. <laughs> I meant <coughs> things beyond the usual strangeness. Uh, yeah. You haven't noticed anything 
watching you, have you? You're watching me right now. Hmm. Sorry, I guess I'm being the strange one, huh? Definitely. I'll just be right back. Okay. Stay safe, okay? All right. So what did that say? All you have to do is give Lynetta a big old hug. I love, love, love you. Aww. Dark communion. So performing this ritual after Esther's banquet will have consequences. So do we want to do the banquet first? Like constantly go against what nothing is is just your imagination. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> did we do this one already? Uh, we did not do this one yet. So I guess if we want to do this one. All right. So uh, interior well lit. <coughs> Enters wearing robe and mask. My mask is in pocket. Jeez, look at my face. Oh my god, that's brutal. Uh, I don't need the ritual knife anymore. Well lit, right? Well lit. On. Everything on. Alright. We're gonna let her in. We need to wear the robe and the mask. Alright. So we're gonna do this. Lights are on, right? Yes. Alright. Welcome company much cherished, may my loneliness thus perish, to this evening we shall share, which would be wasted by myself. No attendants have arrived tonight, alas, besides thyself, but I'll be beside myself when the king reveals himself. Lay thine hands upon my bodice for the <coughs> and the goddess, though this guest of goldenrod is merely the first of the night. All right. Let us drink to your great wealth and family and life, lasting till your afterlife. I'll be yours once he arrives. Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> Next lines from thy. That is the first time I actually got that. I am so sorry. Let's not mess up. Yes, until my schemes may flourish, shall we shall haunt my empty fortress. Let us dance a whirling dervish while we feed our appetites. By the morrow we shall know if the king came tonight. Midnight marks the final chime. Until that comes, there is still time. Okay. All who live in doomed yet hill will know without report the king arrived by your escort. A prophecy of grim import. Oh, okay. All right. And it's over. <coughs> we did it. <coughs> I don't think she notices the mask is off. I'm just a bleeding face. An immaculate performance, dearest. Bravissimo. Bravissimo. There's only one more scene to reenact, and then this world will be mine. Really? I should, I probably should have asked before we got to the final act, but this play isn't a tragedy, no, is it? No, it's not. The ending is actually quite hilarious. Is it? Oh, that's actually a huge relief. What Your happens? Your character is slain, and all of his wishes come true in an unexpected way. Hmm. In his ambitions of greed, influence, and fame, he dies penniless, alone, and infamous. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, my character dies? I'm going to die? I thought you said it was a comedy. Comedy is merely tragedy from far <clears throat> enough away, dearest. I've tried to two-time these girls. <laughs> is she implying that she thinks my death would be funny? I get that she's an outer god, so human morals don't really apply to her, but that's gotta be cruel even for her. No way can I go through with that. Sorry. I don't want to die again. I anticipated that you might get cold feet after learning of your character's fate. However, 
My wrath is terror far beyond a touch of stage fright. That's so, great. For your sake, dearest. Do the fucking scene. <laughs> that, <laughs> oh, that always gets me. All right. So, <clears throat> what was this? Uh, she has the banquet. And then what, what did this say? Performing this ritual after Esther's banquet will have consequences. So we got to perform the banquet. Uh, she got one broken heart. So we still got to perform this banquet. Um, we need red. Okay, so she's in the room. Definitely. We got red fire. Uh, we need an ingredient from here. So we got it. We got the ingredient. Do not make a mistake or a hungry and uninvited guest may arrive. All right. <clears throat> Simply exquisite. Yes, I believe this banquet will do nicely. The room is filled with the mouth-watering aroma of perfectly seasoned meat and fresh fruit. There must be a magical competent component involved here because I see no less than three of my favorite dishes. Esther <coughs> is strutting towards my bed. Surely you don't intend to merely watch me eat, dearest. Yes, I do. <laughs> I didn't think she was going to let me have any. Don't mind if I do. Uh, uh, uh. That's not what I meant. Instead of watching me eat this feast, you'll feed it to me. <coughs> so I'm just going to skip through this part because what she wants is me to feed it to her. And then I eat my favorite dessert and she doesn't want to eat anything that touches my lips. So... But then she gives in, and then I feed her. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <laughs> I suppose. Great. All right. <clears throat> we did it. So, we're not doing this part yet. Because we want to see what the consequences are for doing the dark communion after the banquet. Let the room be well lit. Wear no robe or necklace. No robe. There's no necklace. I can't take that off. It's still on. Um, I might have to wear the mask still, right? No robe or necklace. Have the offering on your person. That's the offering, right? And then chant that. So we need to close this. On. On. Oh, okay, room is well lit. Let's do this. <coughs> I already used up my supplies to cook for Esther. Oh my god. All that's left is leftovers from her banquet. Oh my god. It's <laughs> no good, darling. Oh my goodness. Hey, but she got some full heart right here. It's no good to leave dirty dishes out, especially after eating so much. I'm sorry, Lynetta. You know, it's important to take your diet seriously. You should be more careful <laughs> when your health is on the line. I should. I should. I'll remember that. This much food. It's surprising that you were able to eat it alone. I was. I was, my darling. Y yeah, well, I know I don't look it, but I'm a big eater, especially with sweets. You're so interesting, darling. I'm learning something new about you every day. Every single day you learn something new about the one you love. <laughs> I can't tell if she's on to me or if she's in denial, but I sense I'm in trouble. It just can't be helped if you got a sweet tooth. <coughs> it just can't be. Do you want me to feed you the last of it? Yes. What? The leftovers? Uh, I'm good. It's no good to waste food, darling. But that's just bones. No, you were right. I should watch my diet more carefully. If you've already eaten the poison, you may as well lick the plate, as they say. That is true. That is true. I'm full. Make room in your dessert stomach. Oh, I will. She's merciless. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Uh, no, no. Huh? 
you don't want to eat? <laughs> Just do it, dude! <laughs> I wonder <coughs> if this isn't the food that you like. It sounds like you're saying this was for someone else. <coughs> it wasn't! But that can't be right. After all, my darling wouldn't secretly be hosting communion with other gods behind my back. I wouldn't dare. Right? That is correct. Darling. You didn't even say it right here. Those are dangerous eyes. I've got my back against a wall here. Even if she knows I have to keep up appearances here, or she'll drag me to oblivion without a second thought. I reluctantly cl unclutch my teeth and open my mouth. A juice-soaked morsel from the leftovers is shoveled into my mouth. It feels gritty with an unusual texture, like it's covered in thousands of small hairs. That is disgusting! It tastes strange, strange, straggly? <coughs> I can't even begin to guess what food this used to be. I tried to gulp it down before I could taste it, but it's too big to swallow whole. If I just bite it in half once and swallow the pieces, I might get it down before I gag. As I bite down, it bursts like a tomato filling my mouth with a sweet juice. It tastes extremely fruity, sort of pineapple-y, even. That's it. That is. That is good. It's better than good. It's great. It's godlike nectar. Instantly addictive ambrosia. More. I need more. It's too delicious to have just one bite. It's seriously like nothing else. As soon as I swallow it, I feel the immediate effects of withdrawal. My fond memories of any other food fade to utter disgust. The mere thought of ever eating anything else makes me my stomach churn. I greedily take another bite, filling my mouth with as much as I can. The smooth nectar bursting from every bite swims around in my mouth, coating every surface. It's so delicious that it makes my mouth tingle. Huh? Did I just bite my cheek? Why do I taste blood? The dull tingling suddenly turns into a sharp sting, then into an unbearable burning. My whole mouth feels raw, like I'm gargling acid. It's like my mouth is being digested. I lurch to spit it out, but my willpower fails me. I just can't bear to spit it out. It's too good. I ju just a little while longer. Let me chew it just a little while longer. What the? Is that my tongue? Are those tongues? What are these? The food falls out of my mouth with a splat as a heap of bloody viscera. It might be imagination, but I swear I spat out twice as much as I put in my mouth. The horror. Good boy. You know how much I love to spoil you. I feel like my jaw is probably gone. Do you remember the last time we did this? When you couldn't speak back to me? Yeah, in the last two episodes ago. <laughs> I do remember. <coughs> so, you know what happens next, right? No, I don't recall. One last ritual, and then we say goodbye again. Mm. As always, take as much time as you need. I'll wait as long as it takes, darling. Ooh, I think this is the final decision, right? <sighs> oh, no waking up could be so exhausting. She's gonna sleep in the bed, so I can't call her in. Gonna take a nap before you, well, end everything. You know me so well. But don't try anything while I'm sleeping this time. Hmm. I know what you did. What did I do? Don't look so surprised. Right before our date would have ended, you betrayed me. Oh. Don't think that there aren't consequences between realities, darling. Oh, because one one reality I did betray her. I've already dealt with that pesky breakup spell in your book. And she did. Noticed. She ripped it out. So just take the straight and narrow path of loyalty in front of you. And we can keep doing this forever. And, and ever. ever. And ever. Hmm. Can you put the lights for me again, darling? Oh, is that a... She's dressed so much differently. Okay, hold on. I, I can't see. The final pledge. <clears throat> Have a ritual knife on your person. <clears throat> Alright, um... Going back.
We're gonna do a performance while she sleeps, I guess. Let me get rid of this. I cannot have that. Yeah, that mask is gone now. I need to see my face. Look at it. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I didn't mean that. So what do I need to do next? Wearing robe. Where's my robe? Robe. Mask. And then we do this. All right. Let's let her in. She doesn't care that Lynetta... What? Lynetta disappears. Oh my god, where'd Lynetta go? <coughs> We're doing it back and forth. Let's just do this. How did I die? How I die? Okay, hold on. Bravissimo. Elegant. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're <laughs> too kind. Too kind. Listen to that applause, dearest. The euphoria of a flawless recitation. I got like all black hearts. Innumerable vo voices make up the cacophony of cheering outside my door. Revelry, screams of terror, sadistic amusement, and all amidst thunderous applause. The king has come. Smiles, dearest, smiles. Aren't you proud of yourself? No. Why, why didn't you use a stage knife? <laughs> my blood streaming. To ensure you stay... <clears throat> stay in character, oh, duh. With sweet sorrow, the curtain falls. And the show begins. The stage is now set for you to inscribe the yellow sign. Do this, and I will bestow upon you the smooch I promised. I don't think so. You mean the smooches you promised, plural. Even now, that's really all you can think about? I'm gonna die, aren't I? <laughs> Your world is about to be enslaved by a horror from beyond the stars. You're dying from a stab wound. And you're worried about smooches? Mm -hmm. You are an interesting human. It is a pity that you'll soon cast away your individuality for me. Yeah. So, the last one is to do... Okay, I witnessed the performance. Permanent Irreversible Obsession. So I have to put that sign. And light black candlelight. But I have a decision to make because I can close this, close, close this, and I could go with the other book and chant this five times for my final pledge. Which I'm going to do. We'll see what happens. Wait. Stop. I need to talk to you first. Oh, so I needed one more and you stop me? This is interesting. Uh, what is it? What if... What if we didn't complete the final ritual? Why? What if I stayed to sleep longer? So we could have a little more time together. Oh, okay. Just you and me, lingering in a doomed world, alone. Like an endless dream come true. That won't happen, though, because your sister's here. Doesn't that sound nice? It, it kind of does. Your voice, her voice is so sweet. It does sound nice. I, what? Wait, no! What? What's happened? I wasn't gonna do it! We would have been so happy! <clears throat> oh my god, I made her cry! Uh, this reality is doomed. Y you said it once. The dream has to end eventually. If you keep a dream going on forever, it has to become a nightmare eventually. Or worse, it becomes reality. 
take a look at the world around us and take a good look at me. Is this what you want our reality to be like? <laughs> of course not. My Oh my god. My dream of being with you forever. Oh, can never come true. <gasps> but we can be together for a short time forever. That doesn't make sense, me. <laughs> for a short time forever. <laughs> but <coughs> I'm not ready to say goodbye again. Why can't we just stay for good? Oh. Oh. Why can our time together only be brief meetings and long farewells? Oh my god. What if we're saying goodbye forever? This is depressing. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> If I'm your dream guy, then there's no way this is goodbye forever. It's no big deal. You can always dream of me again. Darling, please don't go. I can stay asleep a little longer. I can. I'll be right back. Darling! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness, she's putting herself to sleep. Oh my god! She's showing a little more skin, like. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what has become of this game? <laughs> Darling, thank you for giving me a dream wonderful enough to remember clearly. Oh my goodness! My darling looks like this. Remember that when you dream to see him again. Awake N2. Ugh. This is so crazy. <laughs> okay, guys, I gotta call it at that. This is uh, this was such a trip. <laughs> this this episode, like I was all over the place. Um, so I guess that's what it is. If you don't get all the smooches, the all the hearts, to to smooch them. So uh, we got the awake ending two, and I want to say thank you for joining me on this ride. No matter what your time zone may be, have a good morning, afternoon, and evening. Bye bye.